Hey, it's Frank Thomas here from UBotJunkie.com. That's www.UBotJunkie.com. Well, today I want to show you a little bit about using regular expressions within UBot. Okay, without further ado, let's jump right into this. Now, regular expressions is a form of programming where you can do very complex string manipulation very, very quickly with very few steps. Now, let's just take a look here. What I recommend you do to learn this, there's a few things here. Do use Google to your advantage. Look up regular expressions, and I, I actually looked up regular expressions cheat sheet, because uh, this site here, www.adbytes.com, has a great cheat sheet for you to use. Now, I've already pulled it up here, okay, and uh, let's just take a look here. As you can see, a regular expression can be a whole bunch of gobbledygook, but believe it or not, it really kind of there, you can get very complicated with this, but using it in a simple form, you can do a lot of very powerful things, okay? But you've got to look at the regular expression and what's occurring here, okay? Let's just take a look at the top one here. We have this expression within brackets, like round brackets. Now, you can put your regular expression in round brackets or not. It's up to you, okay? Uh, you bot's not too fussy about that. Now, now, look at this here. There's square brackets and a whole bunch of stuff in here. Okay, Square brackets are showing a range of things. So, A to Q, capital, you're looking for everything from A to Q in capitals. And 0 to 7, you're looking for everything from digit 0 to 7. Uh, A to Q in lowercase, everything below, be, between that. Uh, with a uh, caret sign before an ABC, you're saying, I don't want to, I want to find everything but the ABC. Okay? So, and there's lots of different things you can do here. Okay? Qualifiers. Do I want to find zero or more of that character? Or do I want to find zero more ungreedy? I'm not even getting to ungreedy. It's, it, this makes, in my opinion, regular expressions very complex and you don't really need it once I show you how to do this. Okay? Um, plus sign. You want to find one, one or more of something. Okay? Uh, question mark. You want to find zero or one. Okay, when you put it in curly brackets, you want to find exactly three, etc., etc., etc. Okay, next thing you want to do is you want to search around for an application called EditPad Pro. This is a pay-for program, but it's you can definitely use it for the first 30 days. Okay. Now the nice thing about this, let me uh, just turn everything off here, is you can put an expression in. Let's say you've grabbed something off the web, and let's say this is what it is here, and you want to find a way to strip everything off from the star star backwards, okay? So all you end up with is this stuff here in front. Okay, so let's do that quickly. What we want to do is we want to go under search, so show search panel. You want to make sure that, okay, we've got to put something in here first. This is selected. You see, the minute that's selected, watch this. You see that the HTTP is being highlighted because under regular expressions, this is just a straight string here, okay? And I'll, I'll show you this here. I can put the uh, that between um, the round brackets. It doesn't really matter, okay? It works either way. But let's say we want to find that star star. Let's just put that in. And as you can see, that doesn't work because remember, a star or the asterisk is a qualifier. Now to un to make it just an asterisk, we have to use an escape character, and that escape character is a backwards uh, slash, so backslash star. Now immediately when I do that, you see I've selected these ones here and that there as well. So let's get rid of the, let's make it so we only find these two. Okay. <coughs> so actually, uh, Let's not do that because it's going to select more than two of these at a time. So let's say we've got that. Now let's say we want to select those two stars, but everything backwards, okay? Let's say, for example, two, just to make this a little more complicated, there's a star right there. So we don't want to be selecting this one. We want to select this one, okay? So let's say we want to, we could do this two ways. We could put another backslash and a star, and immediately we've only qualified these ones and these ones here. And why these ones here? Because there's a group of two, there's a group of two, there's a group of two. 
Okay. Another way to do this is to use those curly brackets and say select two. Okay. You see here now we've only selected those two. But let's say we want to select everything else backwards from there. Now let's take a look here. This here, let's say, could be anything. Okay. So let's uh, take a look here and let's say we want to select everything. So any character except a new line. There we go. That's a dot. So I'm going to stick a dot in there. You notice it selects one before it. Now I want to select multiple versions or multiple ones. So what I can do is use the plus sign. So one or more. And it'll go right. Oh, look at that. It selected everything, eh? Well, I wonder why that is. Maybe it's because we have this here being selected. Well, that's not good. Let's figure out how we get around that. Okay. Let's throw a forward slash into the mix there. There we go. Now you see what happened here. Because it's finding two stars in it, everything before it, it's going right to the end of the line because it sees two stars at the end of the line and then grabs everything before it. Because remember, that dot means everything but a new line. Okay. So to help qualify this a little bit better, we just put a forward slash because it doesn't need to be delimited or anything like that. And when we do that, it only selects, because we're selecting forward, everything before the forward slash star star. Okay. So let's take our regular expression here. Let's jump over to you, Bot. And uh, I put that same expression pretty much verbatim into here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a set statement here. And I'm going to say set temp and I'm going to say replace regular expression the original text is of course it's temp and I'm going to put the pattern in here okay and I'm going to replace it with nothing okay let's see how this worked for us look at that one quick replacement we didn't have to worry about whatever is before that forward slash star star or finding that and we're saying replace everything before it and we've done it exactly. I can go one step further and change that by doing a replace by looking for uh, actually in this case just doing a regular UBOT replace with a percentile 3A which we could change that back to full colon and everything would be good. Okay but let's say we didn't want to do that. Let's say we just wanted to grab that text in there. Let's jump back to uh, Edit Pad Pro Let's say we were looking to select only this piece here after the express dot da da da. Now, as we notice, you know, we do a little bit of analysis and we notice that uh, there is numbers elsewhere. So we're looking for numbers for sure. So let's say we're going to say from 0 to 9 in square brackets. We're looking at anything from 0 to 9, but we want to pick more than three characters. So what we can do is say 4 comma uh, 12. I don't know how many characters there are, so let's do that. So immediately with just a really quick regular expression we can select all those characters. And this, so let's grab this and do a copy and come over here and let's do a set again. Okay, I'm going to set temp, but this instead of doing a um, replace, I'm going to say find regular expression. Okay, and I'm going to enter the original text, which is temp, okay? And I'm going to insert the regular expression, paste, okay? That was from over here. Copied from here, popped it in here. And I'm going to, I only want a single return. Now, as you can see, we could return a list. Now, can you see the possibilities here? I could actually capture a whole web page and find the same element in multiple places and put it into a list. Hmm. Okay, let's see how that works for us. Okay, so we're doing a, that instead. And look at that. One simple expression, we're able to eliminate all the extra superficial stuff and grab that number all by itself. So there you go. There's two very quick examples um, of how to use regular expressions, either to do a find or a straight replace. Sometimes the built-in replace is great, but sometimes regular expressions 
really do save the day. So that's Frank. This is Frank Thomas. I'm going to quickly review the utilities we used here today. EditPad Pro. Make sure you pick it up. Yeah, I know it's free for the first 30 days. After that, there might be a charge for it. It's great because you can open up the search window and do really quick looks, look and refines here. Let's say um, I can do. I can see what's there, uh, and I can say. Uh, uh, a to A to Z. Okay, you see it's selecting the first character, and let's say I want to select three characters after that. Okay, I select the three characters after that, and using the regular expressions here, you can do that very quickly. And this is, I'd re really recommend this tool. Secondarily, pop on over and get this cheat sheet. Remember, we found that cheat sheet on adbytes.com. Great site. Thank you very much for posting your cheat sheet. Download it print it out, keep it near your computer, put it in plastic. This is a great way. And also don't be afraid to actually just do a Google search for regular expressions. As you can see, I do go to a lot of sites that talk about regular expressions. And that's how you learn them. Use them in UBOT. You'll love it forever. As you can see with one command, we were able to extract what we wanted to. Thank you very much for listening into this uh, util uh, these tutorial on regular expressions. This is Frank Thomas from www.ubotjunkie.com